Hey guys, it's time for Bible. We are just starting to jump into Lesson 22, which is all about the Passover, which is actually our 10th plague that we're going to learn about. This is kind of a big deal. There's a lot that goes into this. Um, so we're going to take our time as we go over this plague. It's, it's interesting because it has a lot to do with some other things coming up soon in our calendar year, and I'll get into that. But for right now, we're just going to kind of do a little introduction of the Passover and do our vocabulary words. So if you open up your Bible workbook to page 88, you're going to write down your vocabulary words there. I'm going to go over them with you right now on this whiteboard, but... Uh, I will also post a picture of it so that it's easier to write it down because I know a couple of them are a little bit longer so it might take you longer to write them down. So, Passover, the tenth plague, the final plague where God's plan is going to help get the Israelites free from Pharaoh. Now, every step of the way, Pharaoh kept saying, no, he wouldn't let the Israelites go. He did not want to lose his slaves, and his heart just kept hardening toward God. And God just kept going at him with more and more plagues and just tried to really show him, you shouldn't be worshiping these other things. You shouldn't be worshiping cattle or bugs or water or any of those things. You should be worshiping me, God. So, now this one is, it might, it's kind of on the sad side. So, we're going to go through it and talk about what that looks like and also the good that has come from this kind of thing. So, first let's go over our vocabulary words for this week. They help paint the picture of the Passover. So, our first one is defect or blemish, which means mark or spot. If an animal has a defect or a blemish, it means they're not perfect. You don't have to write this part, but you can if you want to. It means they are not perfect. There's a mark on them or there's a spot on them. There's something not exactly perfect about them. Number two, male. A man or a boy. That one's easy. Number three, sacrifice. We talked about this a little bit a couple weeks ago. Sacrifice means to kill something and offer it to God. So we kind of talked about how in the Old Testament people would sacrifice an animal for their sins, to cover their sins, and so this plague has something to do with that as well. Number four, firstborn, it's exactly how it sounds, it's the first or oldest in a family, so the first kid that was born, my brother is older than me, he was born first, so he would be the firstborn in our family. And number five, Salvation. I know this one's kind of hard to read. I started to run out of room, so I will definitely post this one so you can read it somewhere else. Salvation. Trusting Jesus to take away my sin, become my Lord and Savior, and assure me of going to heaven one day. So salvation is just the asking God into your heart so that he becomes your Lord and Savior and that you will be one day meet him in heaven. So, all of these play a part in the, the Passover plague that we're going to learn about in this le week's lesson. And um, they're very important words that you must know because they also have to deal with Jesus' story. So, we'll get into that a little bit more later this week, but these are your vocabulary words. And make sure you listen to the worship song that I post as well. Bye.